How are we looking on this meat? Oof. Uh, we can turn you down a little bit for now. You're definitely building a figure. I have not marinated you at all. That just, it's a little disappointing. I didn't use to marinate my meat. So, I mean, if you don't feel like marinating, you can probably get away with it, okay? Um, it is a popular thing with good cooks to marinate meat before, like, you actually start putting, like, tomato sauce or beans or whatever. So, I just kind of took it as, do it, you know? Um, I'm not really sure if I can taste the difference. Um, I think, really, the most prominent time that I could uh, tell a difference was when I did that super hot hot sauce. But, um, yeah, it's up to you. I mean, if you're really big into making tasty food and stuff and being top of the line, go for it. Um, you can probably tell the difference better than I can. Um, I know how to make great chili <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean I know why it's so great. Um, I have tried other people's chili and I have not liked it. Um, so, I mean, I guess I should understand, but they all do weird stuff like, um, do lots of tomatoes. Um, which... Sometimes, oh yeah, I didn't even get that. Damn it. All right, um, there is one ingredient that I do typically use that I did not remember to get at the grocery store. Um, and you don't have to. It's a uh, optional ingredient, but I do like getting anything that has, just like a small can that's smaller, smaller than this, you know. Hopefully you'll know what I mean. But it's, it's smaller than this can. Uh, and, um, like it, I, I like peppers and stuff. So, I think it, it might even be by Hunts. Um, or, like, if anything says, like, sriracha or anything, like, like I told you, I do like spicy stuff. So, if it says, like, sriracha or green bell peppers, I've done green bell peppers and I've done onions, and uh, I do like that. I'm giving you the basic recipe here though. And my basic recipe does have a small can of um, diced tomatoes. If you only can find diced tomatoes, then just diced tomatoes, but I do try to go for catch words like sriracha flavored or uh, green bell peppers. And um, I only do one small can, not really to where anyone can notice. Um, like I said, I don't really like chunks of tomatoes, but doing it in one small can, to me, I can't, I can't tell the difference. I mean, flavor-wise, I think so, but, uh, I never can tell the chunkiness. I never bite into, like, like, these are really small dices, you know? And when I mean, like, chunks of tomato, I mean, like, half of a, like, an actual, like, small tomato. That's just, ugh. But no, um, this is about ready. <laughs> I'm gonna still try to marinate it, um, just a little bit. What? Oh, shit, I need a clock. Let's see how long I should or try to. Okay, so it's 11:55. Let's try to hurry up and marinate it. So we got some Creole. Uh, this looks like it's. This is almost out. Okay, what? Um, I'm going to use this afterwards because I don't think I have enough ingredients uh, to be do it before and after. No. Sorry. Sorry. I did not expect my ingredients to be almost gone. So it's taking me a while to think about this. Okay. I got this. Because typically I do Creole primarily just to marinate it. Because, uh, yeah. So we'll just marinate it. And uh, if you want, you can... Um, Do it both before and after. This is also a recent ingredient. Um, Rylan, the person I, I uh, 
talk to him. I think he's only tried it when I've had all these recent ingredients. Other, well, he did try that super hot one, but that, like I said, that wasn't a uh, typical ingredient. So, if you want to use this, I know the focus isn't the best. Can I get that? Oh, there we go. So there's that. Uh, I know it kind of looks backwards, but uh, Crayola, I think. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, there's that ingredient. Uh, I recommend doing it primarily before. Um, not too necessary afterwards. I'm not going to do it afterwards. So if you want to do exactly how I'm doing it in the video, then I guess don't use it afterwards. I know you have the freedom to make all these decisions and stuff. I'm just trying to give you my advice. I think that's the point of this video. Uh, so we have garlic salt here. Um, uh, we have parsley. Now uh, this, I'm not for really for sure if it really gives me much flavor. I mostly just do it because it looks aesthetically pretty. Okay? It looks more fancy. I like it looking fancy. Um, and, and it might be a goofy reason, but, uh, uh, chili is delicious and all, but without some green, it just kind of looks bland. Okay. Um, we got some, uh, hot Mexican style chili, chili powder right here. Oh, why can't you focus? Focus. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, like I said, I always try to go for the the hot tagline saying hot. Um, because, yes, I eat hot stuff, but not just to be spicy. Hot stuff gives a good flavor. I like the flavor. Um, this one's actually a mixture of my ingredients. So I always do this one uh, where when I marinate it, and then I can just go straight to the hot chili powder in general. So let's go ahead and do that since I'm running out of time on how long I should keep this on the oven. So, yeah, let's do a little bit more. Because that way I can throw this away and put that to the side because I'm going to put that up. Um, I don't mind black powder. You know, pretty generic black powder right here. Nothing too special about it. Um, what else have we got here? Okay, obviously, crushed red pepper. So, yeah, there's that. No, I, I don't typically, honestly, like doing this uh, to marinate it. Because I know there's, like, seeds and stuff. And I just I feel like that's more of an afterwards thing, in my opinion. Okay, so yeah, just one more ingredient. Um, since both, uh, since I also have garlic salt, and I, now you're seeing lemon and pepper seasoning salt, I don't want it too salty, okay? Um, you should, uh, if you're trying to go for what I'm making, just don't, just watch your, your salts, because it gets pretty, uh, tart and not appealing when you do too much salt. So what I try to do is I use this as a marinade and then I use garlic salt afterwards when I put the, uh, the tomato sauce in the beans. Um, this one is actually pretty bad. It's kind of chunky, honestly, which is kind of nasty, but um, I like the ingredient. And honestly, I don't buy ingredients very often, so I just crunch it up and make it to where it's not as hard and stuff. Eh, it came out pretty decent this time. All right, so now the marinating process. So we're gonna put up lemon and pepper seasoning salt, and we're gonna put up my mixture of ingredients, um, which I know you might not like me saying mixture of ingredients, because like, oh, but what did you put in that mixture of ingredients? Okay, so, just so you know what I am marinating in this. I know I told you that I like to do garlic salt afterwards and uh, lemon and pepper salt before, but what I put in that mixture, 
I'm very flexible in my cooking, okay? Um, rules, you should keep that in mind anytime you're cooking. Rules are meant to be broken, okay? Uh, what time is it? Okay, I just got done with that. We'll do 12.05 if I can catch it. But, um, yeah, I, I put, um, put my chili powder in there, obviously. Garlic salt, uh, lemon and pepper, black powder. I think that's really it, you know? Again, I'm telling you, the marinade process, I don't think it's very important, okay? Um, I personally don't. Um, if you want to do that, go for it. I feel like most of the, uh, the flavors get lost when you drain the grease. Um, if anything stays in, great. Oh yeah, I want to do hot sauce. I want to do that. Um, again, your option whether you want to do it, but uh, if it's anything like the other times I've done hot sauce, it might be too spicy for you. Okay? I'm not trying to challenge you, I'm just, just saying. My mouth is pretty... My taste buds are kind of burnt from uh, hot things and people trying to test me on my hot abilities. But yeah, let's do a little bit of hot sauce because I don't like what that tasted like. Kind of looks like taco meat now. Um, if you care too much about what hot sauce to use or whatever, Again, I'm flexible, but here you go. Schnooks hot sauce. Um, honestly, if there's a preferable one I like of hot sauces, it would actually be Louisiana. So you can pick this one or Louisiana, or if you're really going for a challenge, just try to find the hottest hot sauce you can possibly find. Because I like it. Doesn't necessarily mean you like it, but um, yeah. And an uh, interesting fact about this whole chili thing is, um, like I said, no, rules are meant to be broken. Um, at one point, I did put um, uh, squid legs, I think, in here. And uh, it wasn't so bad. Um, if you've ever eaten squid, it tastes like chicken. <laughs> and... Uh, my friend Rylan, who wanted to, who loves my chili and I bring to work so he can eat it, he noticed it and he had, he had no uh, complaints about it. So, again, feel free to experiment. You'd be surprised what you like. Not saying that he doesn't like tentacle stuff. <laughs> um, I don't 100% know what he likes, I just know he likes my chili. And, uh,. Yeah, I mean, as far as food delays, I guess. All right. Let's try to mix this up some more. We don't want this meat to get burnt or anything. How long are we going, huh? It's been about 30 minute clip. I'm not really for sure if I'll be cutting out the, mostly the first minute and then if there's other cuts, you know, that. Honestly, after I start putting ingredients, I don't plan on making any cuts. Just in case you're trying to time how I put all these ingredients in. I don't know how specific everyone's going to be in watching this, but I'm playing it safe. Um, I know I could probably put a time, time count on the video. And if I do decide to start chopping in the middle of all these ingredients stuff, maybe I'll do that. But, otherwise, I don't know. Feel free to comment below any of these things I'm saying or anything you feel like if I do this again or should do again. You know, I'm, pr I'm pretty open in comments. I think this meat is pretty good. Okay. Um, I don't really feel that you watching me dump out grease is too vital, but uh, this, I have to admit, is probably the longest video I've made that um, wasn't gameplay related. So, uh, 
That's different. All right, so let's uh, put these ingredients in. Mm. And this is like a cheap, uh, cheap, a poor man's trick, but uh, you see all that in there? You probably don't. And that doesn't look, oh, a little focus, but basically there, there's residue of still tomato sauce. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, poor man's trick doesn't mean it really does much, but uh, just uh, turn on your faucet, do a little bit of water in there, shake it up, pour it in there, and uh, it makes it a little bit more bang for your buck, in my opinion, I guess. So that's what I'm doing right now, if you're wondering. Since I have a water purifier faucet thing, I just go ahead and use the purified water. I mean, it doesn't sound like it'd be bad for you, yeah. so why not? I don't think I'll be wasting any greens, really. It's not like grease where you're actually literally dumping it out. All right, chili beans. Oh, did I get it? Nope. Come on. God, that hurts. It sounds like you're coming out. Come on. Did I get it? Oh, yep, there we go. Damn, those chili bean cans are just way too much work. Got me a little workout. All right. How are we looking? Ooh, that is really some chunky beans. Um, it should mix pretty well though. It does um, a telltale sign about chili. If you ever do try to experiment like I recommend, um, and you're trying to experiment with this basic um, re uh, recipe is when you're experimenting with like tomato sauce and how much meat and how much beans this this looks pretty good okay you don't want it to be super soupy that's that's not chili anymore that's soup okay I don't want soup I want some chili I want some meat in my scoops but the thing about that is you don't want it to be just meat and beans, okay? Um, yeah, honestly, it doesn't even look very appetizing when it's just that. But if you can, if you can kind of move it around, you know, like really mix it or chop it and not have to worry about spilling anything or like using muscle to scoop it or whatever, you're doing a good job, okay? This, this, this looks pretty good. Pretty snazzy. Uh, now, for some more ingredients. Let me go ahead and put this over here. Okay, so, not parsley because there's no reason to make it look pretty yet. Um, let's get some actual chili powder in there. Keep in mind, I have not tasted it yet. I don't assume that it's gonna taste the way I want it to. I'm just, I've been making chili so long, I just assumed in my head that this isn't going to taste good. I have not seasoned it after the tomato sauce and the beans. So I'm just eyeballing the seasoning. Now I will admit if you really pay attention, you'll notice that in the color of the chili, it will change color uh, depending on the amount of seasonings you use, uh, which I just use chili powder, uh, I don't know if I told you that. But yeah, I use chili powder. And if it gets, there's a certain color that I also look for. Um, now I don't know if this is just something that creative minds automatically run to or filmmakers since I'm a filmmaker. But if it gets too dark, there's too much of that. Now, I'm not saying you can really stop that after you have made it too dark. Um, but you can always try to you know, not sacrifice it by 
doing other ingredients and stuff, you know, you really just, once you start putting ingredients afterwards, you need to constantly taste it, okay? You can't just constantly just wing it. I mean, I guess you can, but I don't think it's going to turn out well. You want to keep tabs on it. I'm not, I, I don't recommend you ever to not keep tabs on it. Um, so yeah, uh, you can always do too much salt. And um, I think you can do too much uh, chili powder, but uh, typically that's not an issue I run into. Actually, I don't really run into many seasoning issues anymore because I've done this so, so for so long, but I have run into this issue for sure. And uh, I, I really mean it, be careful with your salt because it does not taste good when you do too much salt. And uh, just like when you make it too dark, you can't really, it's not gonna be as good and if you do too much salt, it's not really going to be good. Every other seasoning is much more flexible, okay? Uh, let's do some garlic salt now. Garlic salt. How long have we been doing this? It's not hit an hour yet. My goal is not to hit an hour. So let's see how that works. Da -da -da, da -da -da. What time is it again? If I had other plans today, but oh shit, that was that was too much. Wow, that is the time to do it, right? That's we never we're not we're not touching black powder anymore because I did a lot of black powder. Um, I'm not saying I ruined it. Um, I think that's still more uh, more something I can keep from being dead, nasty, or whatever. Like I said, the only two really hard to be flexible with is salt and chili powder. Um, so yeah, let's, let's continue doing uh, the last ingredient I was gonna do before I taste it, that's crushed red pepper. So, and then we'll mix it and see what I might have to do to bring it to my standards again. Let's mix this. Now, there is, oh yeah, let's turn that up to, yeah, we'll do medium. I don't know if I even changed it in the video. I thought I told you guys I, I put it on medium. I've already turned it on when I poured out the grease. But uh, for the most part, I think that's the temperature you should keep it on when if you're constantly keeping tabs, it speeds up the process. Also, I guess the meat was pretty uh, well done before I did grease it, so that's probably why I turned it down too. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and taste it. I just, um, one thing I do like doing is, um, oh, damn it. Uh, one thing I do like doing is anytime I do Mix ingredients. Give it a couple minutes to uh, to really soak into everything else and become one with the chili. Because um, I, I I personally think that's a good idea and that uh, it helps the flavor along. So, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and taste it because uh, I guess I'm kind of on a time crunch and and honestly. Really, I think it comes down to me in time crunch. I don't think it's gonna hurt it too much if I do it more than I normally do. Um, I think I've pretty much explained everything that could hurt my chili at this point. I don't think that would be one of them that would hurt it a lot. All right. Now I might blow on this a little too much, but uh, I really, really don't like hot sauce hot stuff, like hot to the touch. Um, I'm not a big coffee drinker, probably mostly because of that, or even cocoa drinker. Um, so like if I get coffee, I'm getting like a caramel cappuccino that, you know, is cooled to the touch rather than hot. Hmm. 
It's different. But, um, you can definitely taste a bit of a kick. I'm not really for sure 100% if that's the black pepper. But, um, I'm gonna adjust it some more to fit what I, what my goal is. Okay. Okay. Sorry, that just came to my mind. Okay, so let's do, let's do some more chili powder. It does look um, like it could be darker. That is a great thing about where I am in the process now, because I feel like I've explained everything. Um, now I can just be like, hey, I just put a hot Mexican style chili powder. So if you're trying to follow the same thing, go for it, bro. Instead of explaining why I do it and what to watch out for. In my opinion, I'm not some super duper awesome chef or anything, but people do love my chili. So that has to stand for something, right? Do I want to put garlic salt? Do I, do I, do I, do I? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put some more garlic salt in it. Not much. Maybe, at least that's the goal. This thing is super warm. Okay, let's do some more. Not like crazy, but just, it's a nice sprinkle. Sprinkle me wrinkle. Mm. Honestly, we're gonna do some more uh, crushed red pepper too. Cause um, though it did have a zing to it, I don't think it necessarily had a spice zing to it. Honestly, um, I know I said I was going to stop doing it. If you do see um, these nice little pepper seeds, if it starts becoming a noticeable thing in your chili, in my opinion, um, that's, that's a good. Um, you after that, if you can start seeing them pretty predominantly spread around your chili, you probably don't need to do much more. I mean, unless you're just that obsessed about spicy stuff. I don't necessarily see that in my chili yet, but does not mean I'm gonna go further. All right, let's see what it tastes like now. What are we at, 47 minutes? Okay. Hmm. Definitely tastes tastes closer. It still has that zing, that zing that I uh, couldn't exactly pinpoint it. I'm just guessing it was black powder. Um, but I think due to this, I mean, it might be this too. I mean, it does. I mean, it does have hot in it, you know. But um. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of this, then go ahead and put it up. Oh, all right, got a little messy. I feel like some of you are saying, hey, Trevor, you didn't do a little bit, you did a lot. Again, rules <laughs> are meant to be broken. Um, just, I, um, I eyeball it, um, you know. I think that's a typical thing that creative people do. I'm not saying I'm some big super creative genius or whatever, but again, people have told me where I notice things in films that other people wouldn't. So it does give me the impression that I do have a mind that is um, trained a different way than other people. And that's probably why I can't necessarily give good directions. 
Uh, maybe you guys think this is good directions, okay? But from what my friend Rylan was saying, the one that wanted this video pretty badly, is he likes specifics. Um, specifics like two teaspoons, one tablespoon, uh, a can, and two cans. I don't work that way, okay? Hopefully this, this helps him out. But, um, I eyeball it, that's, that's my thing. And his thing is to be very specific. So we all got our own things. Hopefully, even though I didn't tell him like teaspoons or whatever, um, hopefully he can get what he wants out of my chili. Hopefully all of you can get what you want out of this chili. People who've tried my chili and people who have not yet tried my chili. Alright, I put some seasoning in there, didn't Oh yeah, I was gonna do some chili powder. Okay, so I'm putting uh, some nice hot chili and butter in there. I do see a couple of those red peppers now. Still not pretty, not very predominant. But um, like I said, I felt like it was time to put that red chili pepper seasoning to rest. So that's what it. I will admit that is an interesting way that I I decide whether to use my my seasonings or not. You know, in my opinion, I would think, oh, let's just keep on using the seasonings until when you taste it, you're like, okay, no more. But no, I, I put it up right when I think I'm almost there. I just like pre-predict what what I think should happen. Interesting. Okay, let's see what it tastes like now. Oh man, my glasses are fogged up. Oh god, that was hot. That was mm, Look at that. I absolutely hate hot stuff. Oh man. That was not enjoyable. Oh, that was not enjoyable. God, that was not enjoyable. Okay. So, <laughs> let's try this again. I don't know if I got a good, good taste in that. Because what I ended up doing was taking a, taking a big piece of meat out of that. And I thought I would be only good enough. But uh, I mostly can just taste the meat. I don't think I can really taste the chili as much as I was hoping. God, this stuff is so hot. Oh yeah, by the way, if you didn't notice, I turned it down a little bit. Down to um, low. Because uh, I don't enjoy that. I'd like to avoid that. Not because it's smart to do it or whatever. I mean, if you don't want to get popped in the face, maybe maybe that would be a good idea. All right, let's try this again. Okay. I really, I think I really mended that, that zangy taste. I'm not saying I didn't like, but it's not my like signature flavor that I was shooting for. So, although I will admit it is pretty perfect right now. Again, I do this weird thing and I'm gonna do this weird thing now. Um, I'll still taste it afterwards, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm still gonna have at least one more taste of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do chili powder, but I'm, I'm not joking about this, it's very little, very little. One, two, that, there we go. Sorry that, I wanted three good dabs and at first it was having a hard time with that second dab. 
So yeah, I'm putting this up. And garlic salt. What's next? This I'm not gonna be as scared to do, but again, you don't want to ruin the perfection, so you know, just a a nice sprinkle. Just to where it kind of looks a little bit like snow, I guess. Snow in a bathtub of blood. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm putting this away. And like I said, you've noticed I haven't touched the parsley, but why I really like this is because aesthetically, it looks nice. Um, I'm sure there's actually a reason flavor-wise for this, but I just use it for looking nice. Um, and it also goes really well with the fact that now I start putting kale at the bottom of my bowls of chili. So it just adds that spark of, hey, this is kind of healthy. Or looks kind of healthy. Or super tasty, you know. So yeah. Let's mix this in. And um, as far as this goes, I haven't done a shit ton of this. I have right in my chilies that I've made. But um, sometimes I'll throw it in, like, I, I probably will throw it in right after this. And um, I'm gonna do it before I taste, you know. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll probably screw up that nice look that I had. So I'll do it more. You know, the rebringing the look back. And then if I make like a bowl of chili, and uh, after I get them putting the actual chili part in it, I'll put some more in there, you know. Um, Cause like I said, I just like how this looks on top of the chili. It looks really fancy. So, use it your own will. I told you why I use it. You don't have to use it. What are we at? 556. We are gonna get really close to, to be done with this in an hour, but still. It's gonna be a long ass fucking video. Alright. So, I'm gonna put this on warm. The lowest level I have on my oven. So, again, this is only if you want to be went to dabble in the Pacifics. But you do know that this is almost done. So, it doesn't hurt, I guess. Um, again, I'm dodging trying to get burnt. Because I am still going to taste this one more time. Which, I almost forgot to put this parsley in there. So yeah, putting some parsley in there to make it look mm, fantastic. So, bam, 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 bam. Now, I don't know if you can see that very well, but tell me if you can see that. Tell me that does not look fucking smashing. Pardon my French, but it does look pretty awesome. And then, yeah, I'm screwing up. Yeah, it does still kind of keep the, uh, the effect in there. Yep. All right. Oh, did I get any parsley? Come on, give me, give me a little bit of parsley. There we go. <sighs> okay. So I gotta wait for it to cool down a little bit there. And as far as that whole kale thing in the bowls, I mean, I've only done kale so far, but I'm not saying I would object to doing spinach leaves either. If you want to experiment with that whole health thing. I'm not, and also, when I, when I say that I don't like other people's chilies, and not just that tomato thing, but when people do do lots of vegetables and try to make their, healthy, their, uh, their chili super healthy, I don't like that. So if that puts any impression on you on how I expect my chili to be to a certain standard, even if it sacri sacri sacrifices health, then uh, yeah, there's that fun fact for you. I think that's pretty masterful. 
so like I said, I'm doing parsley again to reestablish that nice looking bit to it. And um, now I put this on there. Go ahead and turn it off. Um, it might be considered a poor man's trick, but I just keep this simmering because it's still bubbling and there's still heat rating off of it. And I don't like wasting energy. So I am using every bit of energy that is still being pushed into the chili and I'm saving energy. Um, you know, I'm not, like I'm, I'm still letting it heat and simmer all those flavors. Um, but I'm not wasting anything. Um, one of the best chilies, in my opinion, that I've made though, um, if you have a crock pot, doing the same thing, but in a crock pot and like letting it do the simmer thing I'm not 100% sure how crop pots work. This was like forever ago when I was seven. Like I said, I've been making chili forever. But I, I did make this same sort of ingredients in a crock pot. I think, <clears throat> and uh, at that point I didn't do diced stuff as much. And I had uh, onions and green bell peppers. Again, very flexible on how you do it, but same basic situation here. But I did that overnight and uh, present to a competition fucking beautiful okay um it did have a kick to it but what i loved so much about that chili and yes it had it had a bite a bite that maybe none of you particularly liked but the thing is there's a thing that i don't like about hot stuff okay the thing i don't like about hot sauce is that everlasting effect and that chili was bite and then gone it there was no lasting effect it was there you're like, oh, that was that was a kick, and then it's gone, okay? All you're doing is tasting the chili and enjoying the chili and not having to cry your eyes out or drink lots of milk or water. So if you really want to go the distance and you have the material, I recommend using Crock-Pot. Um, I can't even remember if we have a Crock-Pot anymore, but with how my life is, I don't have the time for it. I don't, I don't want, I, I have a bad time remembering stuff. It's just... It's not something I do anymore, but if you want to and can, I recommend it. I recommend it if you want to make like the most bomb ass chili for like your family or friends or whatever, or even for yourself, for like the work week or whatever you're making this chili for. Um, also, I, I meant to say this at the beginning, but I thought this was also a good idea to make this video because chili is a, a very common food for the winter. So I hope that you guys can enjoy this for the winter. And if you eat it for more than just the winter, then I hope you enjoy that too. Also, if you do try this whole recipe thing and uh, experiment or anything, comment below, seriously. Um, like, share, subscribe, of course, all that. But I would love to hear all of your guys' opinion on my uh, recipe and what your experiences are were with making the recipe. and doing the things I told you to do and not do or be flexible with, I, I would find that very interesting. Um, and I would love to connect to the community about that. Or anything, I mean, if you watch any of my videos, go ahead and comment and subscribe and share and all that stuff. Um, I'm very open with things, so keep that in mind. I, I, I just touched my head, but you can't see it. <laughs> So yeah, main thing is this chili is pretty much done, okay? We've hit almost an hour and five minutes. It is what time? 12.41. I'm still gonna try to get some other responsible stuff done, but I will go ahead and make some uh, bows the way I make it. I think I only can do one because I think I only have enough of that kale for one. And then after that, I will just make it how I made it before I started putting green stuff. Um, just to be safe if you do want to try out these options. So, um, if you just came here for the, the chili and loam, uh, uh, you can continue to watch or uh, do your own thing because the actual making of the chili, it's, uh, it's pretty done. Okay, I've told you everything that I'm going to do next, but 
for those people that are really nitpicky about the Pacifics. Keep watching and I'll show you how I do it. All right, um, as far as like Fritos go, you don't have to get Pacifics. I have chili cheese. Um, I like since it is chili and I put cheese in it and you know, the, the Zerdy Fritos. Something in my mind clicks about that, so I just go ahead and do it. Um, I used to just do normal Fritos. I think I have done, tried doing jalapeno ones. Um, but yeah, do what you want, but the, the main thing is Fritos, okay? I don't even know if there's generic Fritos, but uh, maybe that'll work, I don't know. I've only ever tried Fritos Fritos. Hopefully I have enough Fritos. Um, Cause that would suck. Oh, no, I do. Cool. Um, enough for the whole bowl of, Bil uh, bowl of Billy. Bowl of chili, maybe not, but at least two, I think. And again, I think I only have enough green stuff for like one bowl of chili. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna look a little bit different in different ways. It's, it's good to know I didn't use this second, uh, second can of chili. Uh, chili beans. So I'll have that for next time. Um, I think... I guess you probably wouldn't need that for the big bowl of uh, chili either because typically, just a heads up, um, I do use a big thing of chili beans and a big thing of tomato sauce, but I don't use a second big thing of tomato sauce. So I'm guessing, I guess this is a little bit more chunky than normal, but like I said, it looks good. It looks adequate to what I expect out of it. So if you're going by what I would expect, you're good in the hood. We're all good in the hood. So yeah, I think that's simmered down a little bit enough and we can start mixing these. Um, so, green stuff, let me get the green stuff. <clears throat> got my throat. All right, so what do we got going on here? Um, is this cow, because that's what I expected it to be. This says, it says uh, super greens. Okay, and um, I guess this is technically a salad, I guess? Because it says our most nutritious salad. But I've been using it like it was kale or spinach. Because uh, before I started putting uh, chili, I make wraps um, with tuna and cheese and stuff. If you ever want to know how I make a wrap, that'll be a lot quicker. So again, you comment below. And I, can sh I do know how to make other foods. Don't get me wrong, some that are really good. And uh, I can make a thing out of uh, recipes for a while. So if you do like stuff like this, and you want to see more stuff like this, I mean, not like the, this, but like this kind of shebang thing, um, comment below, I like it, you know. Let me know that you like this and I will make more of this. Not saying I won't make you more of this if you don't, but it encourages me to do more, more often, quickly, you know, etc. Um, there are some good ingredient, good uh, recipes that I wouldn't mind showing you that are, are really good, but you know, I don't know if or when I would do it unless I know that people want this. I said I was going to show you how to make a bowl, and I just went around. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Okay, let's do this. So um, I did want to point this out, though. Um, it says it's the extra nutrition of five superfood baby greens. So apparently what's in here is red and green Swiss chard, tat soy, arguella, and spinach. So there's no kale in this at all. There's spinach. So like I said, I'm super flexible. I saw this. I've been using this here re recently and just, it looks a lot like when you buy spinach or kale. So I just, I don't know if I assumed uh, that was one of them and that I'd be good. I mean, the, the thing about putting this in stuff like chili and stuff, you don't want to do too much, or you'll start ta tasting that, and you won't be really tasting why you, the chili that you made and you love. Like, you might love this. I'm, I'm, do it at your own portion, but if this is what you're going for, then this, you want little amount. I mean, that goes without saying anything. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what I would do and how much I would do it. Which, like I said, there's not, not much, so this might, yeah, whatever's in here might just be, what, what what's gonna go in there? Uh, not gonna lie, it's a little, 
a little slimy. Um, I'm not a person to waste food. Um, I'm not saying this stuff is bad. Uh, I am probably at least saying that it's getting close to that time. So it is a good thing that I did this. Um, that's one reason why I actually started doing this eventually. I hate wasting food. So wherever I can find putting food that goes bad really quickly, whether it be a smoothie, a wrap, my chili, I'll do it. Um, I mean, this stuff is healthy. And um, there's no point to waste this stuff. There's no point to waste electricity. There's no point to waste healthy ingredients that cost you money. So if you're a poor man like me, you might want to do something like this if you like getting ingredients like this and want to make every bit count. You know, chili is, is a very good cheap food. So, I mean, it's a poor man's food and poor man techniques how I'm doing a lot of this. Okay, so. Got some Fritos in there. Um, typically, I would do a little bit more than that. But I did get rid of a whole small bag and I do still have some shred cheese, so. Eh, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. Let's not overpower the chili too much on uh, other ingredients, why not? All right, spread it cheese. I am going to take a second just to double check that everything's working on the camera. Okay, so that's, mic's working and the camera looks like it's, going, uh, it's on the right spot and it looks like, yeah. I just haven't checked the whole time and it would have sucked really bad if I did all this for no reason. But, luckily enough, I did not. So, hopefully I didn't screw up my nice and fancy mic trying to flick it or whatever. I do that because um, I, I, I look at the audio levels and uh, typically I have multiple audio devices playing, so to see which ones move, it, uh, it helps. So, fun fact from the filmmaker, if you ever decide to go into filming, I guess. But yeah, as you can tell, I didn't do much cheese. Um, you can call this the lightweight version of what I do normally. Because I do feel as though I do more of this normally, but I was kind of trying to match the portions of the greens, the Fritos, and the cheese. And that's what I did. Now, not, well actually, I will be doing more cheese, so yeah, there will probably be more cheese. But yeah, okay, let's do the second layer. I mean, not the second, like the fourth layer. And that'll be the chili. Okay. Oh, also, I know this is a random inside note, um, but anyone who is watching this video, um, from any social media devices or in general. This camera I'm recording with, I am trying to sell it as of now. So if you are interested, you can also comment me. Um, if you have me on any social media devices, you can message me, you know, whatever. Um, because I am in the mood to make an upgrade. So, yeah, we can talk about what capabilities it can do and what you're looking at for price-wise and what I'm selling it as. If you're interested. I mean, this is a good camera. In my opinion. So, side note. But, that, yeah, I got, um, basically go when you put the chili in is to, to cover everything you just put in the chili. That is the goal. Um, so... Now I don't see any of the Fritos, the cheese, the greens, as far as I'm concerned. It's just chili. Um, so now we gotta be like, hey, well, I want some cheese with my chili. I mean, come on. And then uh, we redazzle it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got so into this video that I forgot that, uh, making it look nice. Now, I'm not saying I do this all the time. Uh, I mean, since I got this, I do do this part all the time, but this time, this thing I don't. Sometimes I'm in a rush, and uh, 
Sometimes I just don't feel like doing this. <sighs> but yeah, the, it's, the, it, it's still the same basic fact. I like things looking pretty, and it looks pretty. All right, we have made a Trevor bowl. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. At, I'm gonna make some more bowls and stuff. But you've seen the basic bowl. Um, actually, let's do some more chili. Cause that doesn't look like much at all. I actually, I, I do eat these for work, so that actually might be a perfect amount for work. So yeah, I know we'll keep it like that. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you me making none of their bowl because that just seems redundant. But uh, hopefully you uh, you liked me, liked watching me make this fabulous chili. And um, last side note. Um, that I didn't really mention. I told you how I like hot hot stuff and uh, how I marinated in hot sauce. So I don't know if you were thinking I didn't put hot sauce even in it afterwards since I did all the hot stuff, but I do, okay? Um, I'm not joking. Uh, I'm not a, some super spicy fanatic, but I do like the flavor. So, as a last ingredient, if that is also your thing, I put some hot sauce in it. So, now it's finished. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that is the, the explosive experience of Trevor's awesome, stupendous chili. Um, I hope for those who in general wanted to make my chili and now might want to make my chili, um, that that was useful. You're just seeing all sorts of my place. At least my kitchen. Um, all right. Yeah, these, uh, this is not one of my typical videos. Um, but again, as typical YouTubers say, is uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time and um, hope you enjoyed.